Haunt was directed by Scott Beck and Brian Woods, produced by Eli Roth, and is about a group of friends who go to a haunted house that's set off of the road during Halloween. There are decorations out, people are in costumes, everybody's celebrating, people want to have a good time, and this haunted house looks pretty fucked up, so they go inside. And soon enough, they realize they're trapped, and the people who run the haunted house are trying to do a lot more than just scare them. Halloween's my favorite holiday, it always has been. I love the feel of the holiday, I love this time of year. As soon as September rolls around, I just get so fucking excited. And films that take place around Halloween definitely check a lot of boxes for me. I mean, I love Trick or Treat, of course, John Carpenter's original classic. And I did not know what this movie was about. I just heard from various festivals that it was pretty good, so I checked it out on VOD. Had no idea who made it, nothing about it. Just thought, okay, I'll watch it and I really like this movie. The directors of this film wrote A Quiet Place, and that was a very tense script. And while Haunt obviously has a smaller budget than A Quiet Place, the tension here is pretty damn strong. This is really well directed. The pacing is excellent. One of the things that I love about this movie that, I mean, I was consistently surprised. I gotta be honest, I was consistently surprised throughout this movie how much I enjoyed it because expected nothing going in, and maybe that had something to do with it too. I mean, just going in with, with no expectations is always recommended. But in the case of this movie, the thing that Beck and Woods both prove without a doubt they understand in regards to directing is the ambience of a setting, the crickets in the woods, the way the air feels, the claustrophobia of this haunted house, tiny tunnels they have to squeeze through, traps that are laid at their feet that could jump up and kill them at any second. You always feel the locations. This is something that horror films really need to do well. You have to feel like you're in that setting, and Haunt does that magnificently. There's simple things that they accomplish, even with the timing of the sound design. There's a scene where a girl is inside this coffin, and a little doorway opens above her. Just the timing of that edit impress me. With any film, but especially a horror, sound design is so important, and the sound work throughout this movie is wonderful. It's also pretty much devoid of false scares, which I've never liked in horror movies where a character is setting up some scare and then you realize they're just playing a joke. There's one in this movie, and for the most part it was earned, I would say, but they never do it again. The performances are also really good for a horror movie. I was genuinely fucking surprised by this movie. I had no idea that it was gonna be as exciting as it was. When it comes to a haunted house thrill ride type movie, you can only expect so much. You, you don't go into a movie like this where you know characters are gonna be trapped in a haunted house and be like, ooh, what are they gonna say? <laughs> it doesn't, that's not what you wanna see. You just wanna see characters uh, trying to escape from peril constantly and feel a sense of urgency, a sense of immediacy. And this movie has that in spades. Katie Stevens as the lead, Harper, is really good. You can tell that actual care was given to the things that most lower budget horror movies don't give a shit about. It was really inspiring, actually. As someone who's currently trying to get the ball rolling on a project that is equally low budget, seeing movies like this that are done as well as this one is, is just so great. And it just makes me happy when I see filmmakers who actually give a shit about making a good horror movie. Haunt is the exact type of no-frills filmmaking that I love to see every once in a while. Alexander Aja's Crawl this year reminded me of that, you know, where it was just like a very simple horror film. It knew what it was, and it was okay with being that, and it never tried to be more than that. Haunt, I like a little bit more than Crawl, actually. Some of that has to do with a backstory that is actually interwoven pretty beautifully in the film in regards to the lead character and her history and how that correlates with what she's dealing with now in this haunted house. So when it came to having actual characters involved with all the stylish gore, they did a pretty good job with their lead. There were a couple parts that didn't quite work for me. There was a moment towards the end where one of the characters kind of has an opportunity to do something, but they decide to do something else, and it felt a little hammy, and it didn't really feel earned, and I was like, just get the fuck out, like, now's your chance, and they're like doing something else, and I'm like, ugh, okay. And there's a few things where it's important to kind of know what exactly led to something happening, and we're not always given that information needed 
and we sort of had to fill in the blanks. And sometimes I really like that, but there's just a few moments where I would have preferred to have known how certain things happen. But honestly, I have very few problems with this movie. As far as kids lost in a haunted house and people trying to kill them, they did everything they could to make that as entertaining as possible. I'm gonna give Haunt a B plus. Do yourself a favor though, do what I did. Don't go into the film expecting like the next horror classic or anything. This is a small budget horror that does everything it set out to do very well. So if you go in with those expectations, I think you'll have a really good time with this movie. And it's a really highly recommended Halloween season film. So enjoy watching it. It's on VOD now, like I said. Thank you guys so much, as always, for watching. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.